Does it look like me? Does it look like me? Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, hello. My name is Brittany and my channel name is pronounced Bratterstein. Today's video is going to be a different one than I have ever done before, but it is one that I have been toying with, playing with, and I finally felt like I had the collection, the item to do it with. So today's video is going to be a live swatching video on, wait, the brand new Jeffree Star Cosmetics Alien Palette. Oh my God, wait a minute. Does it look like me? Does it look like me? So if you are unfamiliar with what live swatching is, this is an idea that is not my own, sad to say, I was not this creative. I was totally inspired to do this sort of video by that girl Shay XO. I will link her channel down below and if I can figure out how to do it in the cards, I will put it up here. But she does a series called live swatching ColourPop, ColourPop live swatching videos. Basically what she does is when all the new ColourPop collections come out, she takes all of the items, which this is the item in question in this situation, and she swatches each shade individually on her eye so that you can see how it'll perform on the eyes instead of, you know, arm swatches and things like that. And I find it immensely helpful. I, I always watch her videos when ColourPop collections get launched so I can see how it looks on the eye and get an idea of how it performs. And I thought it would be a great idea to do with this palette here because her collection, her collection, the up until recently, her videos have only been ColourPop collections and I haven't seen her do anything on Jeffree Star. So it is definitely inspired by her, but that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to be taking each of these shades from the new Jeffree Star Alien eyeshadow palette and I'm going to be swatching them across my eyelids. Um, I'm going to be priming them by putting Tarte Shape Tape across my eyes and then setting them with a powder. Hmm, which powder? Which powder? I'm going to set them with my ColourPop pressed powder, the no filter powder, because it sets it down without making it too powdery. And then we're gonna test each shade on our eyes. And that's what this is gonna be. I'm really excited to try it. I'm really excited to show you guys this palette because it is beautiful. I will do final thoughts at the end because I got this palette about a week ago. I got this palette about a week ago and I've used it five or six times already. I've been using it every day. So I do have thoughts and opinions because this isn't a first impression or anything. I'm just showing you what the shades look like. And then at the end, I'll give you a breakdown of what I think since I have had a week to play with it several times. Some pros, some cons. I'll let you know what shades are a little bit, you know. And yeah, that's what this is gonna be. That's what we're gonna do right now. I'm so excited, let's do it. Before we get started, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put out new videos every week. And once I hit a thousand subscribers, we're doing a giveaway on whatever's hot and you will have to be subscribed at least to be entered so you're gonna want to do that because we are so close to a thousand that it is ridiculous and of course give me a comment down below if you like this idea if you'd want to see this with other collections i don't want to be stepping on any toes which i doubt i will be because i am the tiniest youtuber in existence but i like the idea and i find it helpful and i think it would be nice to get it with other palettes besides just ColourPop, right right show my small amount of people uh a similar funness that she shows me and anyways, I think it's time we just go ahead and get into this video since we have 18 shades to swatch on my little eyeballs. Uh. If you would like to see me live swatch every shade from the brand new Jeffree Star Cosmetics Alien Palette, just keep on watching. Ah! All right guys, so this is the Alien Palette as I've shown you many times before, just now. And these are all of the shades. Oh my God. I have thoughts on the color palette, the color scheme and everything, but I'm gonna save all of that till the end. Right now, let's just go ahead and get into the swatching of the shades on the eyes. All right, so I'm gonna start with my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm not gonna show you this each time because that would be very time consuming. I'm just showing you what I'm doing so you know what I'm doing. So for the sake of the video, I'm setting the primer just simply so that everything is the same and I'm not giving it any help. But if I was just doing a look with this palette and with all of my palettes in general, I don't set down my eyeshadow primer. I put down the concealer, I pat it out, and then I put eyeshadow right on top of it. Unless I'm being really lazy and just doing like a skin tone eyeshadow, that is what I do. But for the sake of the video, I'm doing it the same for each shade, putting on the concealer, setting it down with the powder, and going on top. I'm going to pull you in so you can see the colors really well. Oh, we got, we got a little bows. We got a little bows in the house, guys. So how I'm going to do this is I'm gonna do one shade on this eye, one shade on this eye, then take them off and go in with the next shades. Excuse him, sorry. Um, I will be putting on the mattes with a brush and the shimmers with my finger because that is how I apply shimmer. Anytime I use a shimmer eyeshadow, I always use my finger. I don't like how shimmers go on with a brush. 
eh, it's not my thing, so that is how we're gonna do it. Mats with a brush, shimmers with the finger, one on one eye, one on the other, and moving through it. Let's go. Gonna be starting with this shade here, Pluto, which is a shimmer. I've got it on my finger there, and I'm going to pop it on the lid. I'm gonna do it on this lid. that is the shade Pluto there it's just a beautiful light shade it actually has a little bit of pinkish gold reflect in it I'm not sure if it's coming up on camera but that is the way it goes it goes on really smooth and really pretty and I love the shade as an inner corner highlight so much next I'm going to go in with the shade Titan on the other eye here now this shade might not show up much because it's basically the, oh there you go it's basically the color of my skin tone but it is a really good shade for setting down your concealer if that's what you do for putting it on the lid if you want a nice bright lid or for cleaning up the edges if you go in with the colorful shades too high and that is the shade Titan right there just a nice bone shade my skin tone has got a little bit of a yellowy base that's it right there next I'm gonna go in with the shade alien here which is a beautiful shimmer I'll go ahead and pop it on this lid you ready Dude, this shade is stunning. I did a look on my Instagram with this shade, which if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's the same as my YouTube. It's just Bratterstein, and I did a look with all the greens. Oh my god, and this one. Look at that shade. That is Alien right there. So stunning. All right, next we're going to go in with Interstellar, which is another shimmer here. All right, and here is Interstellar. This is just a really pretty sort of greeny gold. Oh, it's such a pretty inner corner highlight, or you can put it all over your lid, whatever is your thing. As you guys might know, I prefer shimmers. It's just inner corner highlights. That's just who I am, but look at that all over the lid. It is a stunning sort of greenish gold. Very pretty shade. All right, next I'm going in with the shade Abduction, which is matte. All right, so this is Abduction. So the way I like to apply this is kind of tapping it into the crease first and then blending it out just for max pigmentation since it is a nice light neon shade. But ooh, this color is what I packed all over my lid, my green look, and it was stunning. There it is there. It doesn't look as pretty there as it does when it's packed on with the finger. Let me show you because I actually did this one packed on with my finger. And look at it when it's done that way. See how pretty that is? It's a nice lime color. So you saw it goes on really sheer when you do it with the brush, but with the finger, it really pops real good. Next, I'm going to go with the shade UFO here, which is a shimmer, 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 shimmer. This is one of the few shades I haven't gotten a chance to use yet, so let's see how it goes. Ooh, that is a really nice gold. Holy crap, that is glittery and glimmery. Wow, that is really nice. Look at that shade that is a beautiful more true gold where interstellar i think is the name was a little bit more of a light green gold this is just like a true yellow gold that is beautiful all right the next one i have to show you here is the shade gravity gravity <laughs> this shade is probably my most used shade in the palette to date because it's just like the perfect kind of neutral almost melony transition shade it looks really pretty on the eye it blends out really easy as you will see right now it's just a really good transition shade and there it is gravity hmm. pretty shade love it all right next we're going with the shade martian soil which is stunning it matches my shirt very well yes all right and this is going to be martian soil Kind of pat all over the lid and blend it into the crease for your viewing pleasure. And that's what it looks like patted out and then blended into the crease. This shade I love on my lower lash line. I just love shades like this in general. I just think that they are so pretty and flattering and I love that he included one in this palette considering it's mostly cool tones. 
my eyelids are kind of raw. I see how much work this must be for little Miss That Girl Shay on the regular because my eyes are already raw and we're only halfway done. All right, the next shade we're going in with is Flying Saucer here. We're getting into the fun shades now. I really like this shade. Oh my goodness, I really like this shade. This shade on a wet base is freaking stunning. The way that I do my eyeshadow without setting my primer, it is even more beautiful. But look at how pretty it is. Just blend it out in the crease right there. Such a pretty green shade. Ooh, I like it a lot. Let me show you with my finger. <laughs> Some of these shades just do better that way. Look at it. Actually, all these shades do better that way. I just prefer packing with a finger, but oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that green. <sighs> Can we even? We cannot even. No, the answer is no. All right, next we have the shade Phone Home here. Another stunner. I'm getting a little haggard looking, guys. Bear me strength for the rest of this video, please. We'll go ahead and pat Phone Home. Phone, <laughs> phone Home in the crease here so you can see this beautiful mauve shade. Ooh, it's so pretty. I am a fan of this one. I've used this one quite a bit as well. I just think it's so pretty. It looks really good with that yellow shade, uh, Martian Soil. There it is all blended out. And now let me, whew, getting fur everywhere. Let me pat it on the lid for you so you can see how pretty this is. I should have done this with all of them. Let me know any feedback you have for the next video like this because I would gladly make improvements upon it. This is my first time, but these are the two shades there. Beautiful. I feel like by the end of this, I'm going to look so crazy. I hope not. All right, next we have is Moonstone here. Let's go ahead, I haven't gotten a chance to use this one yet. I don't think so. let's go ahead and do it. Ooh, that is a pretty shade. Wow, this is a really pretty shade. I can't believe I haven't used this one yet. Ooh, Moonstone, you are pretty. Moonstone, right? Moonrock, close enough. I really like that shade. That is very, very pretty. I am into it. Next, what we have here is the shade X-Files. Very pretty shade, I have used this one also. I have used most of these. All right, so this would be really good for a cool tone eyeshadow look. This is like a nice cool tone gray brown. Very pigmented right off the bat, as you will see here. Very nice shade if you want something cool toned. Oh, I am blending this like shit. <laughs> I think my eyes are getting raw, but this is the shade there. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Just give you a quick finger swatch there on the eye so you can see what it would look like packed on the lid with your finger which is how I like to do lid shades as you may already know but that is the shade there and that is X-Files. Elastic shades. Woo! I'm like really into this moon rock shade and I might wear this tonight. I might depending on if I can wear eyeshadow after this. I'm a smoker. I'm a midnight toker. Never wanna hurt no one. I wanna shake your trees. All right, the next shade we have here is Ghost OG, which I believe is named for weed, right? OG Kush, right? Ghost OG Kush. Maybe. I don't smoke weed anymore, so I forget. I'm not gonna say I never did, because that would be a lie. But uh, this is Ghost OG, which I believe is what I haven't gotten a chance to use yet, so I'm interested in seeing the shade. Ooh, maybe I did use it. Did I use this? I might have used this yesterday, actually. My cool tone smoky eye I did. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that shade. That blended out real nice. Yes, okay. Ghost OG, I see you and I like you. I kind of want to just like leave my eye like this for the rest of the day. Let's see how this one would look. Oh, I'm looking weird. Wait a second. Oh no, it just needs, it just needs a little more. Yeah, there you go. That's a really nice sort of gray black. I like it. 
All right, next is a color I'm sure sold a lot of people in this palette in the first place. It's gonna be Area 51 here. I have used this. So this purple is so pretty. Look at that. It's a very pretty, very bright purple. So I'm gonna blend her into the crease so you can see her all blended out. So that's her blended out. Now let me put it on my finger and pop a little bit on the lid here so you can get an idea of what it looks like built up. And there it is all over the lid. Sorry, it's getting a little sloppy. I'm getting a little sleepy. I've been doing this a while. But that's the shade there. It's a very Lakers purple, if you know what I mean. If you're familiar with the color of the Los Oh shit. Lakers. What is it? L A? Lakers! But yeah, it's a very Lakers purple. It's very, very pretty. I use this to do like a purple smoked out wing. Very nice. If you were getting the palette because you wanted the shade, you would not be disappointed in this shade. I can say that much because I feel like a lot of people are going to get it for the shade, that shade and the alien shade, and both perform very well. I have done looks with both of them, which if you want to see the looks that I've done so far, go ahead and check my Instagram, Bratterstein. The majority of my latest looks are with this palette, and I do list the palettes or makeup that I've used in the posts if it's something new and cool. So go and check that out. But I've done like five looks. And I think I posted all of them. I think I posted all of them on there. So you can go check that out if you wanna see some looks I did with this palette. And if you have any of them that after seeing it, you want me to recreate, just comment on the picture and let me know and I will gladly do it. Or you can comment down below here and let me know what shades you would like to see. And I'd be happy to do it also. All right, next we have the shade Space Cowboy, which I have never used. Some people call me the space cowboy, yeah, ooh, some call me the gangster of love, ooh, this is a very pretty, like, it's like a blackened brown shade, that was pretty, look at that, I put that on like shit though, didn't I, wait a minute, let me, let me fix that up a smidge, let me just, ooh, looking at it up close, the shade is really, I am just mess, I'm butchering, butchering it a bit, but it's like this really pretty sort of, wow, what have I done? Blackened, purpley brown. Re there you go, look at that, because what did I do? I don't know, but look at that there. It's a really pretty color. Please don't judge this color on that swatch, because um, it looks like, like shit. Next, we're gonna take in this beautiful shade Probe, which I did do a look with. This shade Probe, I did a smoky eye yesterday with this on the lid. So pretty. There's a picture on my Instagram if you want to see it, but whew, stunning. Look it. Ready? Oh, I got it under my eye. <laughs> my swatches are getting sloppier and sloppier, but look at that color. Can you even with this color? The answer is no. The answer is no, you cannot even with this color. It is just absolutely stunning. This is one of the shades that I do have some thoughts on that I'll get to at the end once we're done swatching, which we only have two shades left. And then I'll get to some thoughts on certain shades and formulas and things like that. All right, look at those eyes. <laughs> I'm looking so good. All right, the next shade we have here is Tall Gray. This here is a very pretty grayish blue shade. Really like it, used it yesterday and loved how it looked. Like, look at how unique of a shade that is. And I love the name, Tall Gray. Freaking, ooh, I accidentally fluffed it a bit high there, didn't I? It's a very alien-esque name, which is fitting for uh, the alien palette. Uh -huh. Here it is tapped all over the lid with a finger. It's a very beautiful shade. Very much enjoy it. Used it yesterday, loved it very much. All right, and the last shade in the palette is Black Hole here, which is just a matte black, which I'm scared to put on my face right now, if I'm quite honest. Please help me. Okay, let's do it. Uh, blacks make me nervous. I never use black eyeshadow. Oh my gosh. Look. Oh, but look at how black that is. Look at how completely black that is 
trying to like blend it nicely. I'm not gonna look nice at the end of this. I should just accept it. So there it is blended. It seems like a pretty nice black. I blended that out pretty easy. Um, it doesn't feel too dry to the touch, which a lot of blacks do. I mean, it's still a little bit dry, but not too dry. And here it is packed on. That is very black. Look at that. Very, very black. And that is black hole. And those are all of the shades swatched on my eyelids. That was a lot of work. <laughs> all right, guys. So I went ahead and took off all my makeup. I thought it would be better to do this outro with nothing on than with those like gray and black stained eyelids. I thought this was a, a better look. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh. So those were all of the shades in the brand new, what is on here? So much makeup. Nice thing about this though, the packaging is like, like vinyl, so it comes off like nothing. Well, now it's making me look stupid, isn't it? I'll clean it off better later anyways. Anyways, that was all the shades in the new Jeffree Star Cosmetics Alien Palette. <sighs> I love this palette, <laughs> to spoiler alert, you know, but I, I, I do, I really do. When I first saw the packaging released online, I knew I was going to buy this sh shades aside, I was going to buy it as a collector's item because little known fact, I don't think I've ever said it because why would I, why would it come up on my channel? But I love aliens, I believe in aliens, I love alien movies, I love alien things, space freaks me out, but I love it because I do believe it is real. Anyways, though, when I saw this, I was like, oh, I have to buy it because that is exactly me. I showed my husband, he's like, oh yeah, you gotta get that for sure. I have like a little alien keychain that he got me from, uh, you know, that place when you're going to Vegas. What is it called? Don't know. He got me a little alien keychain from there. Love it. So when I saw this, I knew I was going to have to buy it. And then when they did the shade reveal online, I was underwhelmed. I'm not going to lie. I saw it and I was like, mm, I don't know. I mean, I'm still gonna get it, but I'm not like obsessed with it. And then Jeffrey did his videos swatching them. And it changed my mind. I was like, ooh, that does look pretty. So the way I kind of see it is, are these shades something that you see and you're like, oh shit, yeah, I need. Maybe, maybe not if you're like me. But when I look at it again, I think, huh, this is a very unique palette. I don't have anything like this. I don't have a lot of these shades. So to own this, I'm getting a lot of things that I don't already have. Whereas most palettes that I buy lately are have a lot of repeat shades. This is a lot of stuff that I did not have. So it was a really good and helpful addition to my collection. Then when I got it in person and I saw it in person, I liked the shades even better and I have used it and I've used, let's see, I've used 14 of the 18 shades already and each look was completely different. And I love that. I've gotten a lot of very unique looks out of it. I've gotten some very cool, different kind of shades. It's made me use shimmer, which uh, traditionally I'm not a fan of. And I've been really, really happy with it. I've been really happy with it. I like this palette, what can I say? I will say this. I did a cool tone smoky eye yesterday and I used the shade probe here all over my lid. The way I did it is I put Tarte Shape Tape and I did not set it, which is how I've been doing it with a lot of shades, but I don't usually use shimmer on the lid. And in doing it that way, by the time I got home, my eyelids were very creasy. I do have oily skin and I get oily eyelids already, so I might just have to play around a little bit since I don't use a lot of shimmers and it might just be a learning curve, but that particular shade, if you, even when you touch it, it just feels like there's a lot of oil in the formula, which makes sense because it makes for a pretty shimmer, but my lids were creasy. So maybe I need to set it when I use shimmer. I'm, I'm not sure, I'm gonna play around, but I thought I'd throw that out there. I did also use the shade Alien, but when I did my look with Alien, I put the shimmer on the outer corner, which is something new that I was trying and I didn't notice it as much. So I'm gonna keep playing around, but that is what I think. I think the shades are pretty. I think if you don't have shades like this, it'll be a unique collection addition so that you can play with some new colors and have some new sorts of looks. And I mean, the packaging, like I could just be like, I don't know if this is gonna work. I could just be like that and look how cute it is. And are you are you serious? Look at how cute it is. I just, I love it so much. So anyways, guys, that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know if this is something you would like to see again with another palette, another collection. I do buy a lot of eyeshadow palettes and a lot of makeup, so I could do it again if it is something you like. If you have any suggestions also of how I could make it a little bit better, hit me down below. And you know what? If you made it this far, because I know that this video is different and I want to know how far you made it into it, leave me an alien emoji. Because one, I'll know you were here. And two, it's super... What's the word I'm looking for? Appropriate as this is an alien palette collection and alien emoji. So I know you made it this far. And... And if you did 
Thank you so much. It means the world to me for you to stick around and watch my videos. And if you are still watching videos, as I suspect you are, why don't you click on one of these links over here. These are videos I put up in the past. And if you click on my face over here next to my alien face, it'll take you to where you can subscribe to my channel so you can hang out all the time. I think you should do this. I think this is a good idea. Thank you very much and goodbye. Bye.